So we're now underway in event number five. This is our year nine A division quads. Lane two, Scotch College. Wesley will go from lane three. Guilford Grammar in four. Aquinas are in lane number five this time. Hale are in lane number six. Christchurch Grammar, lane number seven. And lane number eight is Trinity College. If you're watching the vision from a device or the TV at home, Lane 8 is on the left hand side of your TV screen, so lane 8 across to lane number 2, looking left to right on your device or television screen. As we look at this one, Trinity College leading the way at the moment in lane 8. We've got Christ Church Grammar for Company just at the tail of their boat. So between Trinity and Christ Church at the moment, as they head towards the 750. Trinity lead the way at the moment. Then we have Christchurch Grammar in to second place comfortably. To all team captains and all team coaches from our schools, please listen up, a bit of housekeeping from our WA rowing umpires. The regatta is running to time. All other races are running to time. You need to have your crews at the start. So if your start time at the start of the day was 9.50, 10 o'clock, 10.10 and so forth, those times have not changed. You need to get your crews down to the start line. That is the directive from our rowing WA umpires, please. Go back to our drone footage for our viewers at home. And Trinity College will lead the way in lane number eight, but they are getting a very big challenge here from Christchurch Grammar. Only half a length between these two boats. Christchurch right up on the shoulder there of Trinity. A good challenge as they come towards the 500 metres to go now. Trinity show the way from Christchurch. There's the only two boats in it at the moment. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh will be fought between the other teams, but this is between Trinity and Christchurch. Trinity show the way. Both boats rating at about the same. Both looking fairly comfortable at the moment. Looks like Christchurch just trying to lift their rate a little bit as they head down towards the finish. It won't be too long before they start to hear the noise of our cheer squads and our spectators on the side. It's good news that we are back on schedule as far as time goes for the next races. We ask all of our crews to make way down to your original start times. Your start time has not changed. It's the directive from our rowing WA umpires. Trinity show the way, but they are getting a big challenge now from Christchurch. Only half a boat length between the two boats. Trinity show the way in lane eight. Lane seven is Christchurch. Fantastic vision across the water here at the Champion Lakes Regatta Centre. The wind has died off, which is very good news for our boats still yet to race. Christchurch are now throwing out the challenge to Trinity, edging ever so slightly up the outside of the Trinity boat. Christchurch putting out the challenge. Can Trinity answer the challenge at the moment? They get the cheers of their cheer squads as they come past the island now. Trinity lead, only half a length between Trinity and Christchurch. Trinity, they have to lift now to take on Christchurch. Only a couple of hundred metres to go. Trinity show the way. Christchurch still trying to go with them. Trinity have lifted nicely. Christchurch not going away though. Trinity showing the way still. They've led from start to finish. Canvas between the two boats now as they come down to the line. Trinity, will they hang on? Yes, they will. Trinity hang on. Christchurch up into second. The fight now for third and fourth between Hale and Aquinas. Hale just a bow ball in front as they come to the line. Hale will take third. Aquinas into fourth place. Then between Guildford Grammar, then Scotch College and Wesley as they go across the line. <laughs> 